How come stochastic calculus was so delayed in the history of science? We live in a society where religion plays and played a central role. Religious people tend to overlook all the toxic effect because they need to believe. The need to believe overlook anything, especially historical evidences. This is how religion was able to survive so long it refutes evidences ignoring all facts against it. One case against religion is science. Most people are aware of the history of Galileo, or even how medicine was hindered by religious. One less known case is stochastic calculus. Stochastic calculus was the topic of my PhD. If I were born, say, 100 years ago, chances are high I would have to face religion or never do my work. Melanie Brewster says that when she wanted to study atheism, recently she found barrier. This is how religion works, in mysterious way. Religion has been holding science back for centuries, and just when things get ugly, they are held accountable. It took the church centuries to apologize to Galileo, and still they did like they did not mean it. The relationship between religiosity and the development of scientific theories is a fascinating and complex subject. This interplay is particularly evident in the historical development of probability and stochastic calculus. The notion that randomness was once considered a manifestation of divine will highlights the tension between religious belief and scientific inquiry. This perspective may have delayed the formal study of stochastic processes as the unpredictability of certain events was often attributed to the will of God rather than being seen as a phenomenon to be analyzed and understood. Divine will and randomness. In many ancient cultures, randomness was interpreted as the hand of God or the gods at work. Events that appeared unpredictable or chaotic were often seen as divine interventions. This view is encapsulated in the phrase, God does not play dice, famously attributed to Albert Einstein, who struggled with the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. For a long time, the randomness of the world was accepted as part of a divine plan, which limited the exploration and acceptance of randomness as a subject for scientific study. The Emergence of Probability Theory The formal study of probability began to take shape in the 17th century with the pioneering work of Blaise Pascal and Pierre de Fermat. Despite his deep religiosity, Pascal made significant contributions to the foundation of probability theory. His work, along with Fermat's, laid the groundwork for understanding randomness in a mathematical context, moving away from the purely theological interpretation of chance. Thomas Bayes, a Presbyterian minister, also made crucial contributions with his Bayesian theorem, which provides a method to update probabilities based on new evidence. This theorem became a cornerstone of probability theory and stochastic processes. The 20th century and stochastic calculus. The 20th century saw the development of stochastic calculus, a branch of mathematics that deals with processes involving randomness. Key figures such as Andre Kolmogorov, who formalized the foundations of probability theory, and Kiyosi Ito, who developed Ito calculus, advanced the field significantly. These advancements allowed for the rigorous mathematical treatment of stochastic processes, which are essential in fields such as finance, physics, and biology. The influence of religious beliefs. While some scientists like Einstein were agnostic or held complex views on religion, others were deeply religious. This diversity of belief systems among mathematicians and scientists shows that religiosity did not uniformly hinder the development of stochastic calculus and probability theory. However, the initial reluctance to study randomness independently of divine will suggest that religious interpretations of unpredictability may have delayed the exploration of these concepts. Conclusion the interplay between religiosity and the study of probability and stochastic processes reveals how belief systems can influence scientific progress. While early interpretations of randomness as divine intervention may have slowed the initial development of probability theory, the eventual mathematical formalization by both religious and non-religious scholars demonstrates the power of human curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Understanding this historical context enriches our appreciation of the evolution of these critical scientific concepts and highlights the ongoing dialogue between faith and reason.